In this video, I'll show you how I do a complete clean installation of Windows 11 every year when Microsoft releases the October updated ISO. I usually install the retail version of Windows 11, but before we start, let's quickly check what version is currently installed on my system. Open command prompt as administrator and type slmgr slash dli. I also have a dedicated video on checking your Windows activation status. Just click the I button to watch that. As you can see, my Windows is activated with a retail license channel. Installing the retail version is simple. Just download the ISO file from Microsoft's official website, create a bootable USB drive, and install it. Now, let's move on to the main part, installing the volume version of Windows 11. First, download the Consumer ISO from Microsoft's official website. This is the retail version. I already have it downloaded. We'll now configure this ISO so it installs the volume edition. Next, we'll use Rufus to create a bootable USB drive. I already have Rufus on my system. Run Rufus and connect your USB drive. Make sure it's at least 16 gigabytes since the Windows 11 25H2 ISO is about 7.5 gigabytes. Now, select the ISO file in Rufus. My system meets all Windows 11 requirements, so I'm not changing anything in the Rufus options to bypass Windows 11 requirements. Creating the bootable USB will take a few minutes, so I'll fast forward this part. Once Rufus finishes writing the bootable USB, safely eject the USB and plug it back in. Now, there are three ways to convert this retail bootable USB into a volume one. I'll leave all the official Microsoft documentation in the description box below. In this video, I'll use the first method, which is also recommended by Microsoft. Open your USB drive, Go to the Sources folder and create a new file called ei.cfg. Add the required values and save it. A quick reminder, if you select Professional here, Windows will automatically install the Professional Edition without asking during setup. For the second method, you can create a PID.txt file instead and write the following lines inside it, then save it inside Sources folder.
since I'm following the first method, I'll delete the PID.txt file. Once you are ready, reboot your PC to BIOS. So go to the recovery menu from settings, or press and hold shift and then restart your PC. Once you're in recovery, open the BIOS and disable Secure Boot. This step is optional, but I personally prefer disabling Secure Boot when installing Windows from a USB drive. The reason is that Rufus often creates a bootable USB using an NTFS driver, which isn't compatible with Secure Boot. Secure Boot is designed to load only digitally signed operating systems, so disabling it ensures your computer can boot from the USB drive without issues. You can re-enable Secure Boot after the installation is complete for enhanced security. Next, boot into recovery again and open the boot menu and then boot from your USB drive. On the setup screen, press Shift plus F10 to open Command Prompt. If you're using an HP laptop, press Shift plus Function Key plus F10. Now, listen carefully. The next steps will erase everything from your drive. In Command Prompt, type Disk Part and then type List Disk. Find your main drive, that's usually Disk 0, then type select disk zero. Then type clean and hit enter. This completely wipes your hard drive. Now go ahead and install Windows 11 on your cleaned drive. You can create partitions later once you're inside Windows. After installation on the first reboot, press Escape repeatedly to enter BIOS again and re-enable Secure Boot. And that's it. I've now done a clean installation of Windows 11 Professional Volume Edition. Let's verify it again using slmgr slash dli. It still shows retail and that's expected. My previous license was linked to my Microsoft account so it automatically reactivated. To switch to volume channel, just use the Microsoft generic volume keys from their website. As always, link is in the description box below.
After that, enter your own volume subscription code to complete the process. Now, let's check the status again. And finally, we have a volume copy of Windows. If you learned something new from this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.